everybody, and welcome again to Z-Code Sports System. Here we developed all made systems to help you win big every time. It doesn't matter what sport you're betting on. We have everything for you right here. Before we get into some NBA action for March 13th, I want to invite you to join us. You will have access here to the VIP club section that has all the tools that you need to make your picks. So there's uh, several matchups that are uh, important as we get closer to, closer to the playoffs here. So we're going to take a look at some of these games. So let's get started here. We've got the New York Knicks and the Brooklyn Nets. The Battle of New York here. New York enters 12th in the Eastern Conference and Brooklyn is 8th. So both of them still are fighting for a playoff position. The Knicks are average up at the moment, winners of two of their last six games. And the Nets are ice cold up coming off of a win after a four-game losing streak. You notice that in the over-under that the Knicks have been involved in games over the line in five out of the last six. While the Nets have been involved in games over the line in four out of the last six, a pretty good indication that this game will probably be high scoring as well. If we take a look at the score predictor, we have here uh, 118 to 106 in favor of Knicks with about a 50% level of confidence in that prediction. The power ranking indicator shows that Brooklyn is at plus 8 on a downward trend. They were at plus 15 back on February the 28th. And the Knicks are on a little bit of an upward trend up to plus six from plus two just uh, about a week ago. If you take a look at the stability factor, how consistent are the teams performing with according to the favorite underdog status, you can see that the Knicks and the Nets both around plus 20, well, Knicks plus 20, Nets plus 19, but this is showing that both teams are pretty consistent with regards to their favorite underdog status. What do I like in this one? Uh, the Nets aren't playing good ball right now, but I do believe that they are overall the better team. They're at home. I believe that they will come out of this game with a win, probably in overtime, in the Battle of New York, and I would bet over the line. Let's see a few more games here. Next one to see is the Philadelphia 76ers and the Orlando Magic. Philadelphia is one of the hottest teams in the NBA right now. They have won five out of their last six games. The only game was they lost to Miami when they were resting James Harden on a back-to-back -back on the road in Miami. Um, Orlando is averaged down at the moment. They have lost three of their last four and are three and three over their last six. You say, see the 76ers have been involved in games over the line in four out of their last six games, while the Magic have been involved in games under the line in five out of their last six. If you take a look at the power ranking indicator, Philadelphia. Among the top teams now at plus 26, while Orlando is at plus 2. Score prediction has the Philadelphia 76ers by a comfortable margin of 15 points, 125 to 110, with a little under 50% level of confidence in that prediction. How stable have the two teams been? If you notice here, Philadelphia's been pretty consistent at plus 18, but look at Orlando. Very consistent at plus 37. Don't let that fool you to thinking that Orlando is good. They're not. They're among the worst teams. It just means that they are consistently, pretty much consistently losing as underdogs, which they are most of the time. And that will be the case again here. Orlando will be a home underdog. They, they'll probably keep the game interesting for a while until Philadelphia decides they want to play, and then their talent will take over and they will come away with the win and cover. Houston and New Orleans. We're not going to take a look at that one. Indiana and Atlanta. Next game we want to look at is Memphis and Oklahoma City. Here's a matchup with two teams heading in opposite directions. The Grizzlies are second in the Western Conference. They are average up, winners of four out of their last six. While the Thunder's ice cold down, you can see they have lost their last three and they have lost four out of their last six. If you take a look at the power ranking indicator, you see that Memphis is at plus 21, although they're in a bit on downward trend, and Oklahoma City near the bottom as expected at plus one. The score predictor shows... Let's go up here, score predict. There we go. Memphis at 121 to 110 edge, but only about a 38% level of confidence in that prediction. Take a look at that. Does this usually change? Change quite a bit. This will change. I'm sure it'll change quite a bit between now and game time. Um, if you take a look at the over under. You can see that Memphis has been involved in over the games over the line two out of the last six games. Oklahoma City involved in games over the line in five out of the last six games. The stability factor, I always like to take a look at that. You can see that Memphis is more stable. Actually, no, Oklahoma City is more stable, excuse me, at plus 24 compared to Memphis down here at plus 8. But both are showing moderate, at least moderate stability. 
meaning they are pretty consistent according to their favorite underdog status. In this game here, I do like Memphis to go on the road and win. Oklahoma City is just bad. It's a bad team. Memphis is better. It doesn't matter in this case if they're on the road. Memphis will win this game and cover in a game going over the line. The Lakers and the Suns. The Lakers are ninth in the Western Conference and going nowhere. You see their dead status at the moment. Losers have five out of the last six games. The surprising win was a 124-116 win over Golden State. The Suns are average status at the moment, still with the best record in the NBA. They are 3-3 three and three over their last six. You can see on the power rankings indicator right here, Phoenix, although they dropped some, they're still plus 25, and the Lakers are at plus 9. The score prediction has Phoenix by a comfortable 9-point margin, 121-112, with 53% level of confidence. Again, this changes quite frequently, so take a look at that over and over again until the time of the game. Um, if you look at the stability factor, the volatility oscillator, again, both teams very consistent, plus 20 for the Lakers and plus 40 for Phoenix. They are generally favorites. They've been generally winning games. That's why they're at plus 40 at the moment on this uh, team volatility oscillator. As far as the over-under goes, uh, the Lakers under in four out of the last six games. Phoenix over in three out of the last six games. So this is a game where I'd probably avoid betting the over-under because it's pretty even, almost 50-50 over and under. So I'd avoid the over-under, but I do like Phoenix to win the game rather easily. This will not be much of a contest. Phoenix will win the game. So there you have it. Those are all the games that I want to take a look at for March 13th in the NBA. Happy betting, and we will see you again next time.